So guys, as mentioned in my previous video, where I did the how to reach A's and legend type of thing in the game modes, I mentioned that in the next one, I would be talking about the guns and my loadout recommendations. So we're gonna do that now. And the way I'm gonna do this is that I'm gonna have footage on screen where you see me in action on TV station with the guns I'm highlighting or promoting. And in this video, well, sorry, sniper guys and sorry, shotgun guys. We're going to focus on assault rifles and SMGs and I'm not going to talk about every single gun, but we're going to touch base on most of them. And one thing, the aspect here is that which are the guns that are going to help you reaching your rank points, like easy to use guns without having to spend a fortune. Okay, so not the overpriced guns, we're going to go for the not budget guns, but we're going to go for the optimal ones. AKM, I would skip that. There are multiple better guns in the game with better stats. So let's move on to M4. M4, in my opinion, is not a good choice. It's a widely used gun, but uh, with the A1 ammunition, which is T4, by the way, it's not that strong. I think there are stronger weapons using other type of ammunition, M80, BP, for example, but A1 weapons Let's put them aside. Those are pretty much like entry level T4 bullets. And I didn't mention yet, but for most of the guns, my recommendation is going to be using the T4 ammunition. Okay. If there's going to be an exception, I'm going to highlight that. And I just reminded myself that I'm also going to give you recommendations on the scope. In, for M4, it would be 2X, eventually 4X scope. But I think it's not that accurate. So I would stick to the 2X, especially because we're considering TV station. For default, well, this is one of the weapons I recommend. It's not a coincidence that um, majority, most of the high-end gamers and streamers, they are using four. Uh, it's just one of the best weapons in the game, but there's a couple of things to consider. You need to be really good in the game. You need to get used to playing with a 1X scope. Um, it's not the easiest gun to control from a recoil perspective, but it's definitely one of the recommendations. H4, we can skip that because it's just overpriced. It doesn't make sense to use that gun at the moment. MDR, we can skip that as well for the same reason. It's overpriced and it's not that good, so I don't recommend that. AK-102, so this one is interesting. I can definitely recommend this gun, although personally I'm not using it, so you're not going to see any footage with this specific gun. I think it's very close to the next gun, which is going to be the AK-74N. I can, I can recommend that and the build and everything I say about the AK-74N can be also applied to this specific gun, to the AK-102. I think this could be a good choice to get to Ace or even up to Legend. But the next one, the AK-74N, it's one of my personal favorites at the moment. It's, it's accurate. It has strong firepower, so big firepower. You can easily control this gun and it's cheaper compared to like the M4 or any other modded weapon. You can actually put together a really decent AK-74N with a scope, with a 3.5x scope for let's say 35,000 coin or 40,000. So if you are one of those guys who loves the like traditional assault rifles, then AK-74N is definitely my number one recommendation. And you can use that with a big scope. So you don't need to go down and use it with a 1X scope or 2X scope. This is a gun you can be using with a 3.5X scope or 4X. So I've been having tons of success with this gun. So I definitely recommend AK-74N. I think in overall, this is for me within the top three when it comes to assault rifles with all the aspects I've been saying. So it should be optimal. It's not the best gun, but for its price, it's very, very efficient and effective. AKS-74U, no, let's skip that. It's almost an SMG and even within the SMGs, it wouldn't be the best one. So let's skip that. Um, the AUG. Could be a good gun, but it's just too expensive. There's nothing really I can add to that. So it's expensive. And if AUG, then why not the M4 or a modded M4? So I think it just doesn't make sense. F2000. 
F2000 is personally one of my favorite guns. But again, the A1 bullet is weak. The reason why I like this gun is because it looks super nice. But on top of the weak bullets, this gun is super expensive. It's like 80,000, 90,000. So again, not worth buying because remember, if you want to farm rank points, you will die. You will die tons of time. You need to invest into the next game and the next game. So playing with um, an expensive gun for no reason, it just doesn't make sense. I love F2000, but I don't recommend it. AR57 is a very solid choice, but I don't play it. I think bullets are just way too expensive and the gun is expensive. But, you know, if you feel confident and if you feel that you're going to have a good game, then pick up this gun. This is going to bring you success. It's very accurate. It's strong. So definitely one of the best guns in the game, but not the best for like constantly grinding rank points. Because if you lose it, you're going to feel, oh my God, I, I lost my AR. So mm, no, I would I would kind of stick to the to the full or the AK-74N or AK-102 or eventually M4. Ace uh, 31, absolutely forget about that. Recoil is terrible. It's a mid-range gun within the assault rifles, so absolutely not worth playing. Um, AEC or AEC, very good gun, but very expensive gun. Ammunition is good, preciseness is good. Everything is good about this gun. The only thing that is not good is the price tag. It costs you tons of money. So, mm, I don't know. It's For me, it kind of falls into the F2000 category. I don't play it too much. I rather pick it up from enemies and then sell it on the market. And then I buy myself uh, an AK-74N or a Ford or something as AN94. So guys, I think this is one of the guns I, I, I kind of never see in the games and nobody plays that. It's just so expensive for nothing. I mean, it has good stats, but it's not that good. I mean, even the recoil is not that good. So absolutely, let's skip that. Uh, Groza, Famas, I think not worth mentioning because those are faction guns. So let's jump to scar L. scar L is something I see quite often. And also on TV station, some of the bots have Scarrell. Still, I wouldn't recommend this gun because of the low fire rate. It's not a bad gun, but I think Scarrell is better if you are planning to go long range. Eventually, even with thermals, for example, Valley or Northridge, Forex go hunting people from a distance, but not for TV station because on TV station, most of your fights are going to be close range and because of the low fire rate you're going to just you're going to you're going to lose you're going to lose because you don't have that 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 firepower i mean you have some firepower but you cannot shoot quickly enough and then we have this T951 i don't really play that and um, same with the T02 or T03 not 2 T03 or T03. This is actually a pretty nice gun. I tried it one or two times. For me, it falls into the AEC or IAC category. I think it's nice, but it's very expensive. So, so out of every of the assault rifles, my recommendations are the AK-74N, the AK-102 or 102, the Fall with the one x scope, and then eventually Scarrell, but be cautious with that because of the firing rate and and that's pretty much it but the list of recommended guns doesn't stop here because within the smgs we have some masterpieces guys there are so nice weapons to pick from the smgs i'm not gonna go through all of them because most of them are um let's say two weak but let's start with the mpx and p90 i'm gonna bundle them because both are similarly strong in my opinion Put a 2x scope on these, pick up the T4 ammunition. Don't be afraid of like wasting tons of money, it's worth it. P90, MPX, super accurate. You're gonna, you're gonna aim with your crosshair straight to the enemy's head. You're gonna do destruction with these. Don't let these trick your brain. 
that these are just SMGs with MPX and P90, you're gonna become like a, a killing demon on TV station. These two weapons are highly recommended. And as a secondary recommendation with the SMGs, you could be playing Dum Dum if you want to. For that, obviously, you could be playing the MP5. But nowadays, I don't recommend that because the MP5 magazine, the 50 round magazine, costs you 10,000 and you need at least two of them. So I don't recommend that. But you could be picking up the Show Me as an alternative. Good choice if you want to do Dum Dum. Or even with the T3 ammunition, with the AP 9.19 or something, that's that, that's a good gun. But in case you run Dum Dums or the Show Me's, I would recommend you to go with, um, what is that, Faction, um, Armored Rig and T3 Hammered. For every other assault rifle, P90, MPX, SMG, I would recommend you picking up at least a T4 and the T4 Hammered. And then there's one more hidden gem within the SMGs, uh, which is the Bison or Bison. I don't know which is the proper pronunciation, but that gun, that gun is decent and a very good alternative for Dum Dum users. So you could be switching from MP5 to Bison or Bison and consider that as your primary gun if you want to do Dum Dums. And again, the same applies what I've been saying for the Show Me. You could be running T3. AP 9.19, the T3, the, the purple ammunition with Bison as well. I like that personally more because uh, you, you guys know I don't like Dum Dum. So you, you have a pretty decent chance to do some killing, even if you are starting with the lower end gear. And then basically that's pretty much it because every other weapon category is like okay-ish, but I don't recommend using those like for TV stations specifically. VSS could be one, VSS 1x scope if you are like a more skilled player because that's very precise. You can do tons of destruction, but it's it's expensive. Like the gun is expensive, the magazine, the bullets, everything is expensive. If you are running VSS, then do it with a 1x scope or, um, or eventually 2x scope, but don't, don't go above that. M110 could be... <laughs> could be an okay choice especially if you are monitoring like the corridors or the hallways where you have the big distances but again on close range uh you're gonna die with the m110 and ultimately the rpk um 16 good choice good solid choice i like it personally um but not with the biggest drum with the 60 round uh, magazine that that's actually a good choice for me it falls pretty much into the ak 74 and category and then Shotguns, I would avoid that. You can try playing Usas or Usas, Usas, uh, but uh, I, I think it just doesn't work that good on a TV station. And I think with that, we covered like almost every gun in the game. I think I mentioned this in the previous video, but having like a huge storage value and high rank is like a bit contradictory. You could be getting there, but it's better if you decide. So if you want to um, rank up or farm rank points, then I would try to find the loadout that is balanced with your current skill level and mood and tiredness and such, uh, and don't overdo it. So don't put up all the T5, because the T5 and the 100,000 AEC or AEC, it's not gonna, it's not gonna win you the game. You need to, you need to get there, okay? You need to have enough storage inventory, storage inventory, storage value. You need to have enough money and coin to start playing with that. If you are not skilled enough, then you're gonna die, you're gonna get frustrated, you're gonna lose it, and then, you know, it just doesn't make sense. Pick your gun, pick your loadout that is balanced with your current skill level, okay? I wish you good luck in ranking up and uh, farming rank points. If you have any specific questions regarding the guns, magazines, ammunition, scope, whatever, then uh, leave me a comment. Don't forget to join my Discord. We have almost 200 people on there, 200 nice people. And of course, if you haven't already, then shoot, loot, subscribe, and see you in the next one. Shady out. Bye.